race time. Will it be a Van der Hall shot? Will it be Nguyen House? It's going to be close between them, I'll tell you something. That is a big, big kick from the side there. As you can see, Svika is really up for this. He's moved right up on that right-hand side. Nguyen House is going to have to fight him off as his last Van der Haar. Van der Poel already trying to get in position. The charge is on. As we take a left now, it is really tricky this turn in. We're into the descent. You can see and you can hear the crowd. Nobody riding this ascent all the way up once the first rider that was uh, his big jumped off. Everybody else forced her to come off and run. Oh, Newen has big dive around the outside there. No, oh, that was a definite I want the front as we come down here. And the turn in, Ewan House leads him down. This second descent is tricky. It's not usually as bad as the first. It is slightly less cambered. Now, Van der Poel, not yet at the front. As you can see, we're just starting to get a gap open up behind Ryan Camp here at the moment. And that uh, means the gap opening behind the uh, front seven or so. A rider's Ewan House leading. Van der Poel makes a move around the outside there. This is much harder to ride than it has been previously. Raha leading the chase through. Just uh, opening the gaps up in that uh, group behind. And I'll tell you something, Pim Ronha on that descent, absolutely uh, diving it down. So coming round to the end of our second of eight laps here today. Really interesting riding up that slope there. You could just see Pimron Hart on the front. Van der Poel in second wheel, didn't choose to sit directly behind him, just moved out to the right there. Raha, Van der Poel, and then Sveik. Newenhouse dropping down into fourth position. So here we go, down into the uh, descent. Newenhouse just going off to the left-hand side of the course, slightly there. Looking for a way round Sveik as he came in. He was carrying pace instead of just putting the brakes on. He just went a little bit wider, just took the slightly longer line to keep the pace, keep the speed on the bike. And the gap opening up immediately behind. But you can see the uh, Creel and Corridon squad starting to shake things up. They have got three riders in there, as have the Balwar Strait Lions and the uh, Interloper. Well, that is uh, the uh, big man himself, Matthew Van der Poel, who powers his way down the outside. And deciding enough is enough, I don't want any more of this. He powers over the top of that turn, right turn, left turn. This will, should allow them a little bit of a chance, but it depends on what he does now. Into the uh, curl, into the sandpit they go. This could be the moment that the big man goes. Is that it? Game over? Should we go get a beer? Go get a coffee? Could be. The, could be the end of the race at the front of the race. You should never say never, but Van der Poel has struck. And look at the gap. He rode up there. That move was made as he came out of the straight. He went round. And now he has the gap. A little bit of a readjustment as he comes around that bank. Quickly off. Now... Newenhouse diving down there in a pursuit, the nearest the rider. The gaps really are only look at the speed he's coming in there. And these riders at the moment are still just losing a little bit of time. Oh, and a big mistake there. Uh, it looks to me like Toon Van den Bosch just came in, got that line wrong. He's been fighting to stay on the back wheel when there's been an acceleration out the corner. He's been the last one to get on the wheels. And it may well be that he's starting to get tired. Mistakes generally happen when you get more and more tired. Three riders still together behind Matthew Van der Poel. The gap from Van der Poel back to Newenhouse, 41 seconds at the moment. Another big kick out of that corner. Newenhouse really accelerating up there. He is uh, setting the pace that Lawrence Week has to answer. It's another bite length or so as he comes up there. This is starting to open up, but uh, Ron Hart is being distanced. I think the second chance for the Balwars Trek Lions is gone. This man needs no second chances. 
10 out of 10 this season, a perfect 4 out of 4 in the World Cups. The winner of the Son Hoven World Cup for 2024. It is Matthew van der Poel, and this is the run for the line. Neuenhaus has got the gap. Oh, Sveik, Sveik's got nothing there. He's not going to be able to sprint it out. Joris Neuenhaus takes second place, maximizes the points available. Sveik comes to immediately behind him, and then Pim Ronha. Top three here today.